services. So JR already did a talk about all his contraptions here. Charles, yeah, I think you I put this in your machine and you can pit this up. I don't think JR would mind. <laughs> if you think that analog guys don't use measurements and don't value measurements, look at all of these tools that they use to get to a fraction of a millimeter, a thousandth of a millimeter. So yes. you can't, you can't, within a half a degree, yeah. yes, you cannot do all this by your ear. You need some help. And you, you need expertise. Things, you can make things sound better with your ear. You cannot optimize. optimize exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Use the tools that our technology yeah. gives us now. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, so anybody in the analog realm needs to have at least some of these tools, unless you want to hire JR to come out. I highly recommend to do it. As long as you have a bathroom, he can go to very often. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, <the laughs> we stopped three times. Weekly, right? <laughs> <laughs> I learned to attach some salt intake. Okay. <laughs> Give me a salt lick for the ride. <laughs> but, yeah, these are really... Uh, Carl at 3MA, you said he just texted you. Yeah. He's yeah. their analog setup guy. He swears by all of these tools, uses them all. Watch Jose. The videos. Yeah, I got tons of instructional videos. Yeah. And, and blog articles. And, and the seven things of optimization, I did your whole yeah. seminar at 3MA a couple yeah. years ago. Yeah, thank you. Fremer did it after me, but you yes. know he, could, he probably got more views from it. Um, but I think a lot of people, even in my realm, watch that video because it's interesting. And those macro takeaways of optimizing your experience. <laughs> use tools, use measurement tools whether it's in the digital domain whatever to we help you right we know what the targets are we know what the parameters are we know what the goals are in my seminar going to how we know all that right right and it makes an audible difference so you know don't just trust any xyz person on the forum or even some xyz dealer or whatever if they don't have the acumen and the tools and the proof in the pudding I think I've shown both with your seminars and also a lot of your clients like Doug, yeah. pretty much the, the best money spent. <laughs> exactly. Well, I mean, all the analog rigs that I featured that I, in my thing, you've all been involved with it. That's a big difference yeah. <laughs> because as you even talked about, within a one brand of a cartridge, you can have a failure rate right out the box. <laughs> so little little anecdote. Uh-huh. Um, <clears throat> So the Infigo room, yeah, which sounds pretty nice. Yeah. Right. And last night it sounded nice. Yep. I maybe you heard me say uh, I'll be back in the morning to check the horizontal force on that arm. It was sounding nice, but I wanted to know is the arm really behaving well? The anti-skate on that arm was off the scales, way off the scales. I ended up taking off every single one of the weights on those armatures, so that it was only the armature itself totally naked, providing any force. And it was still just a little bit too much. And then I had. Hans listen again. Oh, wow, the sound stage just blew up, got deeper, better instrumentation uh, separation, right. um, more sparkle, more life. Yeah, it can sound good even when things are wacky. Right. It just can sound better if we know what we're measuring and know how to do it. Well, that's right. I mean, it goes back to even Norman stuff. You can get good, people can think that cones are good. Yeah. <laughs> people can swear by them. Yeah. But have you heard better? Have you had somebody optimize? And that's the macro takeaway. Why you're in this hobby is always pushing forward. And like I like to feature people that are always pushing forward. So, and now I'm pushing with you on uh, in the base realm. Now that I got OSC, yes, yes, now I'm running right. neck and neck with you now. Yeah, that's all right, man. <laughs> I can actually do it faster now. I mean, it's yes, a, it's a great development. You yeah, can't deny that. There's just, that's incredible. And this is what we want to see in the hobby, you know. And you're even finding more things you were talking about in the analog realm other than the seven that more things you can do yeah. to get that performance yes yep there are more reasons so beware of dogmatic people control. that think they know it all yeah. look for people that are always striving for something new and, and not just bullshit they can actually prove it you know every time i learn something i feel like um, i know i'm learning out it opens up a whole new avenue i didn't even consider so i feel like i know less now yeah. than they did a year ago. and that's that's the truly smart people in this hobby so all right well good luck all right cheers we'll see you soon have a good chat